Today, I'm gonna to show you how you can quickly animate your webcam overlay. Hey guys, what's up, it's Bravity, and welcome back to another video here on the channel. Today's video is another tutorial, and since I've been doing a lot of Stinger transitions recently, I wanted to expand out into other stream graphics, and we're gonna be taking a look at some webcam overlays. I've got some more advanced and more in-depth videos coming soon on webcam overlays, but today we're taking a look at how you can quickly take your pre-made webcam overlay into After Effects and add a quick little animation to it just to make it a little bit more dynamic. So this video is gonna be pretty short because I leave for Ohio for a business trip in like 15 hours and I have to record and edit and release this entire thing before I leave for that so that you guys can have a video this weekend. So it's gonna be a pretty quick tutorial on how to animate a webcam. I have already created the webcam overlay that we're gonna be animating and I actually streamed that this morning. If you guys don't follow me on Twitch, it's down in the description, twitch.tv forward slash bravitym. I'm gonna be streaming a lot more, playing some Fortnite, Minecraft, but then also I'm gonna be um, streaming some Photoshop sessions and some After Effects sessions like as I'm animating and as I'm designing some stuff but if we take a look here in after effects we've opened up a brand new project here and we can just create a new composition by clicking here or composition new composition 1920 by 1080 60 frames per second everything looks good go ahead and hit okay and then you just want to drag your webcam overlay in so i created this one on stream this morning in about 30 minutes it was super easy if you guys want to know how to create webcam overlays like this let me know down in the comments and i'll be releasing a photoshop tutorial soon on how to create some awesome overlays like this but we want to add a little bit of animation because right now it's just a static webcam overlay so the first thing we want to do is just create a new solid so go layer new solid this can be any color you want, but I'm going to say that you should probably do white and I'll show you why because it's going to be like a little highlight streak that comes across. So we're going to create a white solid and then we're just going to kind of grab the little point up here and just kind of make it a little thinner, just kind of like that. Nice and good like that. Then we're going to head over here into our effects and type in Gaussian blur. So Gaussian blur, we're going to drop that onto our solid and we're going to blur the crap out of this. So you'll see the edges get all soft and blurry looking good. There we go, a nice little blurry streak, and that is what we want. So now let's go ahead and just rotate this little thing to be kind of diagonal like that. We can expand it out, and now we just need to animate it coming through our webcam. So we're gonna bring it all the way up here, out of frame, just like that. Then we're gonna come drop down right here, go to transform, and hit the little stopwatch next to position to start our keyframe. So go ahead and hit position keyframe there. We're gonna zoom in, maybe go forward like two seconds or so, and then we're gonna drag this thing all the way down, and you'll see it creates a line, creates another keyframe, so now when you go like this, it animates down across. See, that's a little slow, so I'll drag this keyframe in, speed it up a little bit. That doesn't look too bad right there, maybe a little faster. Perfect, I think that looks pretty good, and I think we can blur it out a bit more as well, so let's go ahead and pop up some Gaussian Blur, there we go. Perfect. So next, once you got that animating across, you just want to make sure that your solid layer is down below your webcam, just like this. Then you want to go over here to this column where it says track mat or TRK mat, if you haven't expanded it out very much. If you do not have this, right click up in this bar where you got all these labels and go to columns and make sure that modes is selected. See if I turn off modes, there's no track mat. If I right click, go to columns, turn on modes, we've got track mat. So, and you're also gonna need this mode here later as well. So make sure you do turn on those modes. So you wanna make sure the white solid's down here below the test webcam. And while selecting the white solid, go to track mat and hit alpha mat test webcam overlay. It'll say whatever your layer is, but mine's called test webcam overlay. And just click the alpha mat one. And now you'll see what it has created. If I turn off the transparency here, you'll see that we now have this streak that goes along the shape of our webcam. Looks pretty cool, looks nice and awesome. So then we just wanna duplicate our webcam layer by hitting Control D or Command D on a Mac, and then go ahead and turn on the eyeball. When you do the track mat, you'll see it turn the eyeball off on your test webcam overlay or your layer. You wanna just turn this little eyeball on and then you've got your webcam back. And then we wanna take these two layers here that we just track matted. So we've got the white solid and the old test webcam layer. You just wanna pre-compose those. So select them both by holding shift, right click, go to pre-compose. You can name it whatever you want. I'm just gonna leave it pre-comp one. Move all attributes to new composition. Make sure that's selected. Hit okay. And then move the pre-comp on top of the test webcam overlay. So now you see what we got here. We've got this white streak that goes across your webcam. Now that already looks pretty cool and you could leave it like that where it's just a white streak going across, but you can also make it look a little bit more subtle. See when it goes over your logo, it completely takes over the logo. 
Um, you can make it a little bit more subtle and see through by going to pre-comp one where it says normal under the mode, hit that and go to overlay. And you'll see that it kind of knocks it down a little bit and now overlays it over the webcam. So when it goes over the logo, you'll see it doesn't completely take it out. So now if we look at this, look at that nice little streak, just going across your webcam, looks really good. And if we go ahead and just kind of chop it off by hitting command shift D or control shift D, we can split it, delete what we don't need. So then we've got this little section here of just this streak, and then we can duplicate it as much as we want by hitting command D and drag it out just like this and just get a bunch of streaks if we want, if you want to have just it constantly coming through like that. Or you can keep it nice and simple and just have one or two going by pretty, pretty slowly. So I'll go ahead and delete all these real quick. There we go. And now we want to change one more thing, ladies and gentlemen, we got the nice little streak going across, but you'll see that this webcam overlay has a nice design of color. It's got a nice little color splash, but maybe you don't want it to be just one boring color. Maybe you want it to be multiple colors. So what we're going to do is we are going to go over here to our effects and we're going to type in hue and saturation. So we got hue and saturation here. You're going to drag it onto your webcam layer, the bottom one here. And if you see, if you go up here to master hue, we can select what color we want to isolate. If we do master, it'll change the grays and whatnot as well. But you'll see we got this really nice vibrant green when you're designing your webcam. You wanna pick like a nice green color or a nice red color and then make it really nice and vibrant. So when you go up here to this master, you can select greens. So it's going, going to only isolate the greens out of your webcam. So when you move this green hue, you'll see that it changes colors as you circle this around. It is pretty freaking cool, guys. So what you wanna do to animate that is let's go ahead and set it to zero. You wanna hit at the beginning of your um, timeline here, grab the playhead, go to the beginning. You wanna hit the keyframe, the stopwatch next to channel range. And then you just wanna type a one right here where the X is. You don't have to rotate this. You just wanna type a one, but we need to move the play for playhead forward a little bit. So let's go to maybe like, maybe it goes through all the colors in eight seconds. 10 seconds. It goes through all the colors in 10 seconds. So we'll move it to 10 seconds. And now we just need to type a one right here. And what that's going to say is that it completed one rotation of all the colors in 10 seconds. And the way you, the reason you want to do that is because that means once it gets to the end keyframe, it'll have made a full loop and be back at the starting color so that you can loop the webcam really nicely. So now if we play through this, you'll see we've got the street going through, but then we've got the colors changing. It's still going a little fast, but I'm going to leave it for now just to, for the sake of the video, but you can see we got this beautiful webcam that's just changing colors as it goes through time. Now, if we toggle this down and go to effects, you can see where the keyframe is here. What we wanna do is we wanna get over that keyframe, just like that, just kinda put the playhead over it, and then we wanna hit Control Shift D or Command Shift D to split the layer right where that animation ends, delete what we don't need, and then set your end point right there. Maybe move it in, maybe move it like that, there we go. So set the endpoint right at the end of the keyframe and make your layer end right there as well so that when you export this and loop the webcam layer, it's just going to perfectly loop right at the end when the animation finishes. And it'll also loop here in After Effects if we play it. So let's go ahead and hit play. You'll see it cycles through all the colors. We got a nice blue, got a nice purple, pink, red, orange, yellow, we're getting ready to go back to green, and look at that, a seamless loop. We've started over, we're going through the colors again, blue, purple, pink, red, looks really cool, and this is what it will look like on your stream. Once it gets to the end, it'll just seamlessly loop to a new color thing, and you see you've got your little white streak going through every time it hits the green color. Every time it starts over, you got this white streak that just, shwing, just goes across your webcam, looks awesome. And you can duplicate this, and you could add another one like there. I don't know, you could have two two little shimmers. You got a shimmer right there. And then maybe once it's like hitting the pinks and whatnot and the reds, you got another shimmer that goes through. Look at that, looks awesome. And that's pretty much it guys. That's all it takes to animate this webcam overlay. You'll see we brought in just this real basic, real simple, just static webcam overlay here, really boring. And now we've taken it to be a color changing Nice, glistening, awesome webcam overlay. I've got the spots down here where you can put your donations and your subscribers, all that kind of stuff. It looks really cool, but now it's time to export. You'll see this is on an alpha background ready to go into your stream. So what you wanna do is make sure your in and out points are at the beginning and right at the end where your color change animation ends. Then you wanna go up to composition and add to render queue. Once you get it in render queue, you wanna click where it says lossless and change this from AVI to QuickTime. 
and then you want to change where it says RGB from RGB to RGB plus alpha. The alpha channel just means that it'll have a transparent background so that it can go into your stream and you can have your webcam behind it and whatnot. You want to hit OK, then you can hit where it says comp one or whatever your composition is and you'll click there and that's where you'll rename it, save it and put it wherever you want. And then you just want to hit render and it'll render out and then you can bring it into OBS and you have got your awesome animated color changing webcam, ladies and gentlemen. Let's look at it one more time. Oh, yeah. That is a dynamic webcam right there. Looks so good. But that's pretty much it for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope you put it to use in your streams. If you already have a webcam overlay that looks like this, go ahead and take it into After Effects and try some of these um, techniques on it to get a nice little dynamic webcam overlay. If you want some animations, you don't want it to just be static. It can add a lot to your stream, ladies and gentlemen. But I'm sorry if this video was a little bit short, guys, and seemed kind of rushed. I gotta leave for um, Ohio and now 14 hours. So I've now got to get this uploaded and edited and all that, not in that order, edited then uploaded to YouTube so that you guys can see it and uh, not miss me while I'm gone. I wanna try to keep uploading a video a week. So we'll see how that goes, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Don't forget to follow me on Twitch as well to see if I do any more of these design streams so you don't miss when I make these webcam overlays, but I'll see you in the next video. Peace out.